This week on John Thielen's Destination Fish, we start out chasing summertime smallmouth bass in clear water. This can be a tough time of the year before the fish transition to bigger baits in the fall, and today we are faced with just that scenario. Then it's out to Lake Petenwell in the Wisconsin Rapids area in chase of fall walleyes that are holed up in down timber fields. John Thielen's Destination Fish is brought to you by Lindy Fish and Tackle and Alumacraft Boats. There he is. That one might be Easy. a decent fish, yeah. Oh yeah, you got a little something to him now. <laughs> Man, I'll tell you, this is some fun fishing. And here's what we're gonna do today. What we're gonna talk about. We're gonna talk about light tackle and smallmouth bass. Because this is becoming a deal that is so, oh yeah, good fish. He's gonna go. <laughs> there we go. There we go. You can tell he was gonna make that move. <laughs> All right, look at that. Great fish to start with. Here's what we're gonna do though. We're gonna talk light tackle and smallmouth bass because this is becoming a, a bigger deal all the time because fish like that, they're living and they're growing big in all of these natural bodies of water that are clearing up because of zebra mussels. These fish are changing. They're not just the slam boom bang fish yeah. that they used to be. And a lot of times what you gotta do is you gotta change your presentation to catch them. You gotta use more finesse. You gotta be a lot more subtle and you gotta be a lot carefuler with these fish if you wanna make them bite. And that's what we're gonna talk about today is tactics to catch fish, smallmouth bass in these clearing waters. Because I'll tell you what, if you put some of the stuff we're gonna show you today to use, you're gonna catch a lot more fish because these, these lakes are changing. I think I got one picked me up, John. Yep. Got him? Yep. Ooh, that looks like a decent fish, huh? Yeah, I don't know. It's... <laughs> right. Think about just... smallmouth on light tackle. They just is they're crazy. all great, right? <laughs> because, you know, this isn't your normal bass stuff. Oh, yeah, that's a decent fish. So let's talk a little bit about baits we're using. Oh, yeah, good fish. Come here, come here, come here. <laughs> nice fish, bud. <laughs> Look at that one. I'm gonna give him to you. Go ahead and just grab him. If you can get him. There we go. Ooh. Yeah, what a nice fish. Yeah. Look at him. Finesse him right in. Man, he just engulfed that yeah. fat cat. <laughs> <laughs> so here's here's something I want to explain to you. That's awesome a nice fish. fish, John. All day long, man. Beauty. That's Thanks a great for fish. Playing, bud. Couple things. One, we're fishing that mid-August time frame, okay? This time of the year, here's what I'll tell you. These fish in clear water are still feeding on small baits, okay? And when you're in clear water, small baits can make such a big yeah. difference. They're, we're not to that point yet where you hear about guys on Mille Lacs Lake and then a lot of other fisheries for that matter, going to big baits, big sucker minnows, big live bait in the fall. Look at what we're using here. I mean, you look at this. This is just a simple ball head jig from Great Lakes Finesse. And then this is what's called the fat cat. That little plastic right there, I mean, most people would look at that and say, Couple boy, inches long. It's... Yeah. They'd say that's small for the size of fish we're catching. <laughs> but the size of fish we're catching in this clear water, this is what they're tuned in on. And they can see so well that you want to have something that is the size of what they're eating. Here's the other thing I'll tell you, too, that is a big deal fish in clear water. We're, I'm going to just grab yeah. this rod because I just want to oh, show man. everybody this. Cool. Simple swivel up here, okay? That's a Lindy no snag swivel. And then what we're doing is just a couple feet of fluorocarbon, but man, we're not talking big, heavy duty, go get it stuff. Six pound fluorocarbon, really lightweight. We're making sure that it's finesse, fish can't see us. And then we're using medium light rods yeah. with keep, spinning Keep tackle. your drags light too. Right. You got it. These fish are gonna pull, you gotta let them pull and just take it. These fish, they're gonna make they're runs powerful. on you. That first time you saw the net, he'd, he got right. a whole nother run on them. Yep. If you didn't have a loose drag right there, that right. six pound is gonna snap on you. Yep. They got a lot of power. Finesse oh. fishing for smallmouth. I'll fun. tell you what, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Nice fish.
Upgrade your fishing game with the 2024 Alumacraft Multi-Species Fishing Boat. Loaded with features like large aerated live wells, ample rod storage, large front casting decks, and the exclusive double-plated 2XB hull. This series delivers on performance and all-day comfort, making it in a must for anglers who demand excellence. Contact your Alumacraft dealer to pre-order your 2024 boat and take your fishing adventure to the next level. Dan's Southside Marine in Bloomington, Minnesota is one of the largest Suzuki outboard dealers in the country. Pair that power up with a brand new Alumacraft boat, you have the ultimate package. Dan's carries an extensive inventory of Suzuki-powered Alumacraft boats, meaning you will find the model that fits your family and be on the water this spring. Dan's also offers an experienced service staff and a large parts and accessories department that is sure to have everything you need. Sales, service, parts, winterization, and storage, Dan's Southside Marine does it all. We are LM. We are a third generation family owned business that has proudly served the Northland for over 60 years. We carry products that cater to the communities surrounding our stores. We service what we sell, and we can equip you with everything you need for your next outdoor adventure. We are family. We are LM Fleet Supply. Today, anglers fish longer. Today, anglers fish harder. Today, anglers rely more than ever on their electronics. It all comes down to catching more fish, and today, anglers rely on Amped Outdoors lithium batteries, period. Right yeah, there. Go in there. Yep. <laughs> Got him. You put me right on this one. <laughs> I was looking at the ones over here. <laughs> I like it. Ooh, yeah. Good fish. Here we oh. go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. He decided boat. to go right at the boat. And <laughs> I tell you what, he came up a little easier than I expected. So, so I he didn't. was jumping. I, <laughs> right. Up. He was on his way north. <laughs> Great fish. Look at that, man. This is so fun. Smallmouth bass on like tackle. I just, I got to tell you, it's just, it's an overlooked thing. And, and there's days, and I'm going to tell you, today is one of those days where if you were using big baits, this bite is definitely off. We have had to work hard to catch fish. But because of what we're fishing in these smaller baits, we're getting these fish to bite. It's taken time and it's taken work, but I guarantee you, there's days where you come what? out and you do this and you don't catch them, <laughs> okay? So I wanna take a minute now and show you what we're using because this is a really cool small tackle company and now it's just, the secret's just kind of getting out. There's been a lot of guys using this stuff that nobody knew about, okay? But here's the deal. It is a really, really neat product. This is called Great Lakes Finesse that we're using today, and you're just going to see it hit, mid, hit Midwestern shelves this year, okay? Stealth ball head jigs. They come in a couple different sizes. We're fishing the eighth ounce today, a couple different colors, but everything about these jigs, it's matte finishes, and the paint is baked on these jigs, and here's what that means. We're fishing rocks today. We are not losing any of the paint on our jigs because it's baked on there. And then we talked about it earlier, and I'll talk about it again because it matters with smallmouth bass. That Gamagatsu hook is stout. Strong. I mean, you can't yeah. bend that hook. And then a few different plastics. Flat cat, okay? This is a 2.2 inch bait. It's a small little stealthy bait. Here is a four inch drop worm, okay? Again, a bunch of different colors and then the 2.75 inch drop minnow. These are the packages you're looking for. And the other thing I wanna tell you is, when you look at this, you're not gonna see a whole ton of that bright flashy stuff. What you're gonna see is natural stuff. But one of the things I want you to pay attention to when you're looking at this stuff is all of it is designed in such a way where it's not super shiny. One of the things about smallmouth bass, when you look down in the water, you don't see a lot of shiny stuff that bass are feeding on. They're feeding on stuff that's down in the bottom. When it comes down to it, these matte finishes are phenomenal. And then the last piece I'll tell you is because they're smaller micro baits, 
It is absolutely phenomenal the action that you see on these baits by barely moving it. One of the things I want to show you too, this is a Flambo half satchel. This is probably the best plastic storage that I have ever seen because you can split it all up and you can see, I mean, I've got my whole Great Lakes finesse assortment in this box. It's got Z rust in it, so your hooks aren't gonna rust. I'll tell you what, really, really cool product. It's called the Flambo Half Satchel. You can check these out at flambooutdoors.com. But you wanna make storing your plastics a lot easier, this is the way to do it right here. There he is. Got him, yep. Took off like a bullet toward the front end. Ooh, I, ooh. This feels like good a pretty one? good fish, yeah. Damn. Look at that, good fish. Yeah. I don't think we're done yet. <laughs> here we go. Come in here, buddy. Look at that. Ooh. Big boy. Yeah, that's Look nice. at that. A big malak smolly there. Look at that. That Woo. sure is, man. That's a dandy John. <laughs> nice that, fish, man. That right there <laughs> is a great way to wrap it up. Pat and I get to get out and fish couple times a year and you know what we do this smallmouth thing because it's so much fun <laughs> but next time you are faced <laughs> with a scenario where the fish just don't need to be on the chew when those big fish right there they can decide what they want to do and the bite isn't on fire or you're fishing clear water pressured water Pressure whatever fish, it is yeah. fish more stealth switch to something finesse Go out and fish these fish just like you would vertical jig and a walleye, and you're gonna be surprised at how many fish you're gonna catch, how many big fish you're gonna catch. Use your electronics, downsize everything you own. You do that, and smallmouth like that, the big ones are still gonna bite. They're just gonna bite something smaller. Yeah. That's a great day right there. This is the place. Warner's Dock in New Richmond, Wisconsin is the place to find your new Suzuki powered fishing boat or pontoon. The new redesigned show floor at Warner's Dock is home to a large inventory of pontoons and fishing boats from various manufacturers as well as a complete lineup of Suzuki outboards. The service and parts department have you covered from beginning to end, including off-season storage solutions. Stop in and see the team at Warner's Dock for all your boating needs. This is the place. This fight is between you and the fish. The lake may get unruly, but our motors quiet the noise. And now that the best trolling motors ever made are even better, we'll lead the charge. So you can focus on getting them to bite whenever and wherever the fight takes you. With Minn Kota, you're free to fish on any front. Hi, this is Greg from Outdoors Again in Bedette, Minnesota. I'd like to personally invite you to stop in and visit us here at Outdoors Again, where we carry the largest selection of fishing tackle, bait, firearms, and ammo in northern Minnesota. We are the home of the Jig Buffet. We are conveniently located on Highway 11 in downtown Bedette with plenty of parking to accommodate boats, wheelhouses, and trailers. We are your one-stop shop for all of your outdoor needs, including bait, tackle, firearms, ammo, and much, much more. We look forward to seeing you here at Outdoors Again. Whether you crank it, jig it, flip it, slow roll, or troll, Striker Technical Apparel gives you the freedom and confidence to fish, no matter your style, no matter the weather. Because with Striker, when it's on, it's on. It's on. Lacan's Marine in Fairbolt, Minnesota offers everything you need to enjoy your time on the water with family and friends. Lacan specializes in Yamaha powered Alumacraft boats, and you can bet they have the model and horsepower you are looking for in their extensive inventory. Lacan's also offers parts and accessories along with an experienced service department that will keep you on the water, and when fall arrives, they can handle your winterization and storage needs. Get out on the water this summer with a new Yamaha powered Alumacraft boat from Lacan's Marine. 
take your trolling game to the next level with the all-new Trollmaster Pro Angler. The Pro Angler pairs with your current Trollmaster system or can be purchased as an all-inclusive kit while still compatible with Panther Electrosteer models. New features include increased battery capacity to keep you fishing longer and Strike Mode, a built-in function that increases your speed in short bursts every two, four, or six minutes to trigger more strikes. Up your trolling game and catch more big fish with the all-new Trollmaster Pro Angler. Next up, we head to Lake Pete and Well in central Wisconsin for some hot fall walleye action. With winds blowing at 20 to 30 miles per hour, we're confined to certain areas of the big lake, but we find a pile of fish in an area with down timber on the bottom. John Thielen's Destination Fish is brought to you by Alumacraft Boats and Lindy Fishing Tackle. What do you got? That one just looked better. I don't like that. Justin normally gets a big fish when we do this. <laughs> it, it's just the way it works. <laughs> and you know what? That is just fine. <laughs> Man, I'll tell you what, this is gonna be a fun day today. We're on the Wisconsin River system, Lake Petenwell. It's a dammed up section of the river. Big fish. Is it a cat? Cat. Oh, look at that, but that's fun though, ain't it? Look at that. Look at that. I want to show him to everybody because that is, that's just one of the species you're going to catch. Hand me that pliers back there, Todd. The neat thing about where we're at, being a river system, is you have this ability to catch a huge variety of fish. I'm just going to give you that and show everybody that catfish. Fun fish to catch anywhere they you go. And, that, and they come way bigger than this, yep. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna chase some walleyes, probably throwing some white bass along the way. And there's a bonus catfish for you. Oh, look at that. There he is. Got him. Good one. This one might be a better one, boys. That? Yep. You got one I back think. here too. Better hustle. We're almost here. You got one back there too, Todd? Yeah. <laughs> I'm good, I got it though. Oh yeah, good fish. Look at that, go ahead and go back and get Todd's. We already got it. Got you him. already got him? Yeah. What do you got there? Look at that. You Mine that. would be a keeper oh, if we were we keeping go. today. Hey, all right. <laughs> Another 14 incher here. Yeah, you know, I'll tell you what. It always amazes me when I fish out here the amount, the sheer amount of fish. I, I oh. mean, I've always said that. Every time I come out here to Wisconsin Rapids, I sit here, look at oh. this, another one. I sit here and I fish with these guys and I say, the sheer amount of fish is phenomenal. Look at that, another good one. Yeah. Look at that, and, and this is just a move. A quick little move yeah. and all of a sudden, boom, boom. This Triple. one here is going in the well. That one's gonna be a little short. But man, I'll tell you what, that right there, that's just fun stuff. Today we are fishing in 20 to 24 feet of water, with the key being finding down timber on the bottom. Air temps are in the low 70s, with big west winds howling at 20 to 30 miles per hour. Parking with spot lock and fan casting around the boat with one quarter ounce lindy jigs tipped with fathead minnows is the most efficient way to fish with today's big winds. Orange and chartreuse are today's top producing colors. This might be a good fish. Good fish. Good fish. This is a good fish. I turn around, we just got done dealing with another fish. I turn around, I look in this dead stick and, oh, look at that, a white bass. White bass. That's why he's going in circles. But man, we're just sitting here talking about all the different species. And look at this, what a great fish. I mean, that's a great fish. We're gonna throw him in the live. Well, I'm gonna just give him to you, Todd. Go ahead and throw him in because that's a great eating fish too. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take a sec, and I'm gonna show you what we're using because what we're using can catch anything. And you're, and you're seeing that today. Just the fact that we're catching anything and everything. First off on the handheld rod, just fishing a quarter ounce Lindy jig. Works perfect, good stout hook. But then I'm gonna let Todd tell you a little bit about this setup right here, because this is kind of his deal. And I'll tell you what, this is deadly too. This is what you, we call a drop shot. So you have 
the hook and the sinker. You can vary your depth between the sinker and the hook. So we tip it with a minnow. You drop it out fine bottom. We just let it sit. It's a dead stick. When you're looking at a body of water like we're on here, where you can have two rods apiece, it's the kind of setup you want to have because sitting there and working two jigs is going to get awful complicated. But having this, being able to just put them in these rod holders, it's a simple deal. And, and you know, it's catching fish for us throughout the day. Gallus Marine in Wisconsin Rapids has everything you need to get your family out on the water this summer. New and used boat sales include top brands like Alumacraft Boats and Berkshire Pontoons, powered by Yamaha Outboards. The parts and service departments will keep you up and running all summer long. Whether you're looking for a Yamaha-powered fishing boat, ski boat, or a pontoon, Gallus Marine has you covered, and when fall arrives, they'll be there to handle your winterization needs. Stop in and see them at their convenient central Wisconsin location, or look them up at gallusmarine.com. This is your tackle. You use it to catch this, or this, or this. You also use this, and that, and these. This, this is your environment. So is this. You love it, live for it, but it will turn this into that. This is the Flambeau Z-Rust Max Tough Tainer Series. These are fully infused with exclusive Z-Rust VCI anti-corrosion technology. This is a U.S. Naval battleship. The same Z-Rust technology used here has been used on those. This is the next level of tackle management. Built to fish, built to last. What's your tackle worth? Resort is the premier resort on the south shore of Lake of the Woods. Spend the day on one of Zippo Bay's six 30-foot charter boats or bring your own boat to explore the pristine waters of the big lake. Log cabins in various sizes have all the amenities while clean and comfortable housekeeping cabins are also available. Spend a day at the pool and hot tub, play on the water toys, enjoy great food and drink in the lodge, and relax around the campfire in the evenings with family and friends. Make Zippo Bay Resort on Lake of the Woods your next summer getaway. We are l &M. We are a third generation family owned business that has proudly served the Northland for over 60 years. We carry products that cater to the communities surrounding our stores. We service what we sell and we can equip you with everything you need for your next outdoor adventure. We are family. We are l &M Fleet Supply. Better fish, ain't it? That one feels better. Looks better. Let's see what we got. It looked better on the hook set. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. Good walleye. Good job, buddy. You know, this is one of them deals, I'll tell you. The fish, they just oh, throw, let's throw him in the live wall. He looks like he's gonna make that keeper line. Let's throw him in, hand him off to Todd, let Todd throw him in the well. He's handing me a baited rod. How do you like that? <laughs> Man, I'll tell you what, just good stuff. Good fish. You know, one of the things I'll tell you about spots like this, when you're thinking about how do I find spots like this, this is one of them deals where you know, everybody's talking a lot about all the mega live imaging units out there right now. Really, this is not the time where you're gonna use your mega live to find the spot. What's really helping us find spots like this, and I know Todd uses it every day and I use it a lot, is actually that hummingbird side imaging. Because the side imaging draws that picture for you while you're cruising and looking and you get to see and pick out that that's down timber and it makes it really easy. Then you come back and you do what we're doing. You spot lock with the Minn Kota, you sit over the top of it, you put your Mega Live down, and then you just jog around looking for fish one at a time like we're doing. We're fishing a spot for 10, 15 minutes, then we're just moving on, but we're moving on by 10 feet with the jog feature. And if you do that, there's another one right there. If you do that, what you find out 
is you not only found the location where the fish are with that hummingbird side imaging, then you keep up with the fish on the Mega Live. Well, that, that's so true. We've done that up and down this brake line. Like you said, you cruise your sideline or brake lines with side imaging, waypoint it, and then you just bounce from waypoint to waypoint. And sometimes the timber, what we're targeting is a little bit bigger. So it takes you in or out far as depth wise too. Right. So just expanding on what we're doing, along with jigging in the timber, where you've probably seen us, we're pitching out and working the areas around the timber and just kind of covering all aspects of the area, the timber itself, and then all around it, just pitching out and working it back. And once you get up, we get into the timber, we'll hit that, reel it back up, take a different angle and bring it back to the timber and just covering the whole area of what we're trying to hit here. Got one, guys. What do you think? Uh, decent? Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, decent yeah. fish. Just move back in here a little shallower again. Yeah. You know, it's funny how it works, ain't it? It's uh, actually felt good to reel up a good one. A little bit of back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, buddy. I'll let you deal with him. And hey, while Todd's getting him dealt with, we're going to take just a minute before we go today and tell you a little bit more about Gallus Marine and what makes Gallus the, the, the best fishing boat dealer that you're gonna find in the Wisconsin Rapids area. Gallus Marine in Wisconsin Rapids is a third generation boat dealership that was founded in 1939. Gallus Marine was first known as Ed Gallus Garage and was passed down through the generations while growing into one of the area's top marine dealerships. The Gallus Marine sales department features the Lumacraft boats and Berkshire pontoons powered by Yamaha outboards amongst others as well. Their extensive parts and service departments with experienced technicians strive to keep you on the water and enjoying those warm summer afternoons with family and friends. Alumacraft Boats offers a variety of models that are built to accommodate every situation from fishing to water skiing, and Gallus Marine stocks them all in their large Wisconsin Rapids showroom. Whether you are looking for a newer used boat package, need service on your existing boat, or are looking for a hard to find part, let the team at Gallus Marine with their 80 plus years of experience get you taken care of and keep you out on the water. Hey, if you live in the central Wisconsin area, make sure to stop in and see these guys and check back next week for another great episode of John Thielen's Destination Fish. Closed captioning for John Thielen's Destination Fish is brought to you by Formula Propeller.